Hey, it's Angela with Studio Sweat On Demand. We are doing 30 minutes nonstop, no repeat workout. We're gonna warm up, we're gonna get some cardio, get some strength in there, and leave you to stretch on your own. Grab some weights, a medium set, it's gonna be between eight to 20 pounds, depending on what your medium is, a mat, a water bottle, and let's go sweat. Get even more Studio Sweat On Demand with our seven day free trial. We've got a huge library of live and on demand workout videos, all filmed in our studio and featuring real people just like you. Download our app today. All right, we're going to start with touchdown. So we're going to build that cardio right away, touching down here. You've got 45 seconds. 15 to rest. So let's just get those hips loose. Good. Alternating hands. Nice. You're more than halfway. Almost there, 10 seconds. I'll give you a 15 second rest before we hit the next one. In three, two, one. Here's your rest. So your next warm up, let me show you. Instead of a jack, we're gonna go overhead. You're gonna do a cheer jack. So you're gonna go up with your arm, okay? Let's do it. 45 seconds, straight up. Good. Movement to the upper body. Get up on those toes. Good work. Already breaking a sweat. You're almost there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds to rest. The next one, we're gonna open up those hips. You're gonna do a combination. Soldier, soldier. Take your hips out. Then take your hips in. Three, two, let's go. Soldier. Soldier, a little brain activity here too. Take those hips out, and then take those hips in. Soldier. Yes. Make sure those hips are ready to work. I do a little stutter step in between. You can keep it in there. Take it out. We're almost there. You got a couple more sets. Almost there. You've got three, two, one. Good. 15 seconds to rest. Next, you're going to go squat, kick, squat, kick. Warming up those glutes in three, two, one. Let's take it down and kick. You're only gonna see these exercises once. No repeat. so give it your best. So a couple options with your hands. You can clasp them together. You can keep them up for fighter stance. Good. That squat doesn't have to be wide. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Rest. Your next one is an inchworm. You're gonna walk it out, bend at those hips, bring it back up. No push up at the bottom. So you're gonna walk yourself out. Nice steady plank. And then push it back up. Here we go. Keep that cardio up. How many can you do in 45 seconds?
Good, you're almost there. 10 seconds. You got another one or two in there, I know it. Five. Three, two, one. Nice. Next one, we're going ice skating. So you're gonna take yourself to the side, reach down to that bent side, switch sides. However much area you cover is your choice. Let's go. You can add the jump in there, or you can take it steady and step it. Whatever your body needs to feel this motion work for you. Yes, let's go. 15 minutes, straight cardio. 10 seconds. Almost there, three, two, one. 15 second break. You're gonna do a cross jack. So we went up last time, this time you're gonna cross. Arms and legs, or you can just cross the arms. Three, two, let's go. Yes. Ooh. I like the rhythm. Come on, rhythm is a dancer. Let's go. <laughs> Keep that collarbone wide. You're there for 10 more seconds. You got this. Three, two, one. Rest. We're going, we've been going forward. We're gonna go back with a butt kicker. So, you're gonna bring those heels up to your booty. Picking up the pace in three, two, let's go. I like to put my hands there. So the goal is I'm gonna kick into my hands. Yes. You got this. Good. Try and keep those knees straight so that those heels are coming straight back. Keep those knees close. Lie it on those toes. You're almost there. Five, three, two, one. Let's take it down after this 15 from mountain climbers. So your choices here are to go straight knee, or you can cross it. Let's go. Here we go. Now, is this cardio? You bet. Hold that core in. Don't just let that belly hang, and don't prop yourself up. Keep yourself in a strong tabletop as you pull these knees in. or you can cross it. Your choice, but you got it for 15 seconds more. Almost there. Good, rest. Stay close. We're going into a plank in 10 seconds. You're gonna plank up, down going to look like this. Let's go. 45. Build that house in your up-down plank. As much as you can, try and take the sway out of your hips. I know it's hard. Your other option, too, is you can hold the plank. That's going to burn your cardio and every system. 
great whole body. Just breathe. You got this for another 15. Ten. Let's go, team. Come on. Five. And rest. Don't go far. You're gonna flip over for a flutter kick. So you're gonna make sure those hands are right underneath those hips. And you're going to stick those legs out and flutter. They can be small flutters, or you can take it larger. Your neck can be softened on the mat or lifted as long as you feel support and the small of your back is pressing into the mat. I don't want to see any gaps there. Push that belly button to the mat while you work. Good. Ten more seconds. Got it. Breathe. You're almost there. Rest. Good. Don't go far. Look at this little bonus you get. We're going into a bicycle crunch. So from here, you're gonna come up into tabletop. Mount those hands behind your head and alternate sides. Good. Try to get that elbow on the outside of your knee. And because we're working cardio, let's speed it up. Slow it down for a little more strength. Speed it up for the cardio burst. Good. Scoop that belly button. Yes, you're almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good, bring it up. Everybody's favorite, burpees. I know, you're all cheering and applauding. Let's go, three, two, one. You can add this jump. Jump back in. If you're not a jumper, you're gonna reach and step and come back up. No push-up. I promise you'll have plenty. It's gonna go quick. It's only 45 seconds that you can do it. You're almost there. 10 seconds left. You got a couple left in you. Come on, come on. To the time. Good. Nice work. We're gonna go bring out that boxer back. You're just gonna boxer tap right in front. Let's go. Also, if you're a soccer player, imagine this on your soccer ball where you're tapping. You can pick. Are you guys boxers or soccer players? Fierce all around. Let's go. A boxing soccer player also is legit. You got this. You can definitely pump those arms. Box it out. You're almost there. Five. 15 second rest. We're going back to that plank, but to hold a jack. You can go from your wrist or your elbows. You're gonna be here, out and in. Let's go. Come on, let's finish this cardio. You got it. Make sure your alignment is in check. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, neck. 
for 20 more seconds. Let's work. Yes. Woo! 10. You hear it? Rest. Good. 15 seconds. Grab those weights. You're gonna go standing to a wide press. Let's bring those weights up. You're here and press it out. Alternating. Make sure your stance, you have a strong base that you're working with. Good. Shout out to Denise and Laura. Woo! Let's go. You got this. Alternate. Bring those shoulders away from those ears for another 15. Come on. Breathe. Three, two, one. Woo! Go ahead and drop those. You're gonna bring them to your side or just do body weight. And you're gonna do a narrow squat. So just hip distance. Let's take it down. Narrow squat. Strength here in this squat. Engaging those quads and your glutes with each press. Because it's narrow, you probably won't get past 90. That's okay. Those legs at 90 are strong. You got this. Yes, good work. Breathe. Release that air. Five. Go ahead and set one weight down. We're gonna do a halo. Variation, you can add a press, but you need to rotate sides. So it's gonna come around, making a halo back to here. You can add the press or not. Let's go. Halo, one direction, then rotate. Whether or not you add the press, so the press would be in between the rotation. Make sure that upper body is stable as you're doing this. Lower body shouldn't be moving. Sometimes I forget which direction I go. It's okay. Good. You're almost there, five seconds. Good, grab that other weight and you're gonna rack it up here. We're gonna squat and narrow press. We're going in five, three, two, one. You're gonna squat single arm, narrow press. Can you double arm it? Sure, you definitely can. If you're ready for the challenge, this workout, it's yours to take. Nice. Try to avoid tucking those arms in at the squat. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's go, muscles. Rest. You're gonna side lunge. Bring those dumbbells with you. You're gonna alternate sides. You can hold it here or down in front. We're gonna alternate with this side lunge, getting some work through those hips and inner thigh. Let's go. Side, come up, side. You can also hold here. Sometimes that feels better. Good. Alternate two is to frame the leg. 
little different work, each variation with the weights. Here, straight down, or frame the leg. But you got this for another five. Three, two, one, rest. A bent over row. So you're gonna find your athletic base. Make sure your toes are in line with each other. Find your bent over stance. Nice flat back and row. Sending those elbows straight up to the ceiling. Good. Keeping that neck neutral. Now I'm looking up at all of you, but your gaze should be about one to three feet in front of you, depending on how long you are. Bring those shoulder blades in towards each other, but keep the shoulders away from the ears. Squeezing those glutes and the belly button. You're almost there. In three, two, one. Good. Some super fun for you next. You're gonna find your bear hold. We're going on a bear hunt. So in your bear hold, you're gonna do a little side walk. When you reach the end of your mat, go the other direction. Let's go. Now, the bear hold works your entire person. It's no laughing matter. You can do this. Lateral challenge adds the action of the obliques and working those sagittal muscles. Let's go. 10 left. Five, three, two, one. Woo! Do you like that? Grab those weights. We made it into the woods. We got a track down where we started. So we're gonna march. Rock those weights and march. 45 seconds. Bringing those knees up. If you'd like a little travel action and you've got the space, do it. Twenty seconds. Yes. Woo. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one. Set those down. You're gonna side lunge with a windmill, working those inner thighs. So here, you're gonna side lunge, windmill, side lunge, windmill. Let's go. Get that nice side lunge. Send those arms into a windmill. That top arm should be coming up to the roof each time. You got this. For three. Two, one. Good. Find those weights. You're going to plank row it. We're going in five. Strong plank is how this starts. Find that plank. Alternate sides that you row. Now, some people ask, what if I can't hold a plank? You definitely can do this from tabletop. Same rules apply. Good alignment even still, bringing that elbow up high, keeping that belly button pressed all the way in, 
engaging those glutes. You've got this for another 20. Strong plank. Try to watch the rotation of the hips. If you're finding you're rotating a lot, take it to tabletop. And as you get stronger, you'll be able to hold that plank. Almost there. Good, I got it even out. Nice. Good work there. Woo! Grab those weights. Come on up. We're gonna curl. You can alternate this curl or you can double arm it. It's gonna be dependent on probably the weights that you chose. Bringing those weights right up in front of you. Take out the momentum. Don't let the weights pull you. Make sure your biceps here are doing this work. For 20 more seconds. You can always do the single arm. Whichever it is for another 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Rest. You can set those down, get comfy on your mat. We're gonna do a little oblique arm sweep. You're gonna open up these arms side to side. Let's do it. So I'm staying in an oblique hold with my heels pressed into the ground while I'm opening up my shoulders Working these obliques. The farther you go back, the more work you're gonna feel. Another option too, is to bring up these legs. If you don't find stability there, I prefer just to kick it in. You've got this. Take a breath. You've got it for 10. Let's go. Three, two, one, good. You're gonna find yourself on your mat, bringing it back for a reverse crunch. So you're gonna come up into tabletop, have those arms at your side, keeping the knees and thighs together, and you're gonna touch down. Let's go. The small of your back stays pressed into the ground. Push it in, and you're gonna make a nice scoop in your belly without opening up the ribs. Keep it all locked in as you work this action. As time goes on and you get tired, the knees and hips want to spread apart. Keep those thighs together. Give a shout out if you feel that burn. Woo! I hope the neighbors heard. You got this for five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're gonna grab those weights that are behind me and you're gonna come into a glute bridge as you press. Keeping that strength, you're gonna be here pressing up into a glute bridge, holding it there as you chest press. Now, if a glute bridge feels difficult for you, you can take this from the ground. If you're ready for it, pull, articulate up, and pull up. Slight separation in the feet, just to the hips. Hip distance as you press. Straight across the chest, holding those glutes in tight. Belly buttons pushing to the ground while your sacrum's pushing up to the roof. You got this. Come on, you're strong. Good, nice. And I couldn't leave you without giving you an option for a wide squat. So let's end it with your wide squat. Bring your weight, let's get started. You can go in plie or forward and you're gonna high row. You're gonna make sure you're tucked in tight as you pull up. Keep that collarbone wide. Don't let the shoulders hunch forward. Keep that collarbone nice and wide, like you've got a necklace on that collar. You're showing us off. Good. 
You've got this. You are almost done. 30 minutes of this work. You're almost there. Since we're here, take it a little lower. For the last 10, I saw that. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Studio Sweat On Demand, you are amazing. Be sure you stretch, drink some water, give yourself a high five, knuckle bump, chest bump, whatever you wanna do, you did it. Thank you, see you next time.